Hey, what's up guys? So here's just gonna be a little bit of a breakdown of really what MPT is uh, kind of founded on, you know, what I'm creating, what's built. Uh, really it's just about the full thing of health and fitness and wellness. Um, you know, you'll see right here, and I, I kind of have a picture right before this video because it's a little bit hard to see, but you're gonna see right here, guys. Um, you know, if you move more freely, then it's gonna come down. Your muscles will work more at full capacity, and then what will happen is then obviously muscle recruitment will be enhanced for a better breakdown, um, which then will lead into more results because of that breakdown, it's also a recovery process. So again, you can think about it, mobility, strength and conditioning, and then recovery. That's what that all kind of equivalates to. It's the full circle, you know, incorporates the nutrition, it incorporates a workout program. Uh, it just incorporates everything so that you can enhance your, you know, really just your daily life, um, because it's about long-term success and keeping you healthy, um, you know, not just a one month crash course, which I always preach and I will continue to say that, because um, if any of my clients know the details, uh, you know, that I put into every single person individually, whether you're working with me uh, and with somebody else at the same time, um, you're still kind of individual specific at that moment. Here you're gonna be, I'm gonna flip around here. So here you're gonna see, you know, all of this, three of these kinds, I'm just gonna highlight, um, you know, I have many that are obviously follow the same kind of, uh, let's say continuum and pathway, um, but I have many, Kathy and Rich, and you can see a little clearer in that picture that I have right before this, um, you know, he follows, those three steps right there. So you have many overactivity uh, in his quads and hip flexors when he first started, so that comes from mobility. Then he was able to perform deadlifts a lot more efficiently. That comes from the strength and conditioning portion. His body's able to move more freely, so then he's able to work those specific muscle groups, specifically a deadlift, working on his hinge movement um, much better. Then resulted in him lifting over 200 pounds um, in deadlift, which he's never done in his entire life. Uh, and then he's gained five to seven pounds of lean muscle. He followed that whole process, stayed consistent, and that's why yielded results. Kathy, um, I mentioned her a bunch of times. She had, you know, she's had previous disc issues in the past. Um, excessive lumbar extension, um, which obviously makes sense, especially with some of those disc issues. Um, so obviously we've overcome that, and then we basically had, uh, you know, helped her engage her core much better than she ever was able to before, activated much better, um, and then she was able to actually perform stability ball planks, which was just an intense core exercise for her, um, that she was able to have the control and stability to be able to perform consistently throughout four weeks, um, which then led to her, she can go on walks with steep inclines up and down hills and declines, um, you can take a dog for a walk without being in pain and just go through daily life waking up going to work without having lower back strain and pain, so definitely kudos to her. Uh, and then Rich, um, I've highlighted him and his journey so far. Um, you know, he came with a torn meniscus post rehab, um, so they did a great job of rehabilitating him. Uh, and then I had him still some weakness in some areas, um, some symmetrical imbalances. So, he, you know, main things was overactive T-spine from a mobility perspective, and his hamstrings were really, really tight. We opened those up. Then he was able to perform overhead movements because we opened up his T-spine. Um, and then he was able to jog and run, which he does enjoy doing very efficiently because now his hamstrings are mobile and hamstrings are a very dominant part when it comes to running efficiently. Um, and then he's lost over 30 pounds um, and about four to five inches along his waist. So there's the results, um, the muscle breakdown to results. Um, and that's how that shows just three clients. And I have many uh, that follow these guidelines with, you know, obviously all similar results in their own individualistic way. And you can tell there's not one thing that's the same between any of these three clients, but they all follow the same pathway. So uh, definitely, you know, I'm all about long-term success, guys. So that's what everything's built on. Um, again, take a look at that picture, see kind of what it says. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily complicated. Uh, and the details, leave it up to your coach to perform. Uh, you know, your body has to move really have to be mobile. Um, if you're not mobile, just as I, I, I said already, um, you know, just simple without, you know, going into crazy science, you, you know, your muscles are not gonna work efficiently. They're just not, they're not gonna work to full capacity. Um, so then, you know, eventually down the line, you overtrain, not even meaning to overtrain because your muscles are not working at 100%, um, and therefore just, you know, possible injury later down the line. Uh, and that's not what you want. Um, you want to be able to continue to work out, feel good, wake up every day, um, athlete or non-athlete. Um, so this is Coach Murray with MPT, and there's a little bit of a breakdown of really what MPT's foundation is truly about and clients to kind of represent.